Mars is on tour now uh, with a Slaughterfest package. How's the tour going so far? It's going rather well. Um, like surprisingly, even during the week, there have been a lot of people. Today, okay, it was a little bit less. But even on Monday and Tuesday last week, we had over 100 people. You know, I know people have to work in the morning, so we're happy to get 100 people on Monday. Yeah, exactly. But the tour's going well. You know, what's really good about the tour is that it's uh, a good family feeling here. Mm -hmm. Everybody's helping each other, you know. With, like laundry, whatever. We all help each other. And, you know. Yeah, that makes a team and that makes yeah. things work out. Life is much easier this way. Yeah. 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 Great, great you enjoying it. And yeah, and I've seen it tonight and all the bands are good, so great package. Yeah. And uh, the new album, Watch Hunt, is out. Yeah. How are the re uh, reactions so far on the album? Positive. You know, uh, <laughs> 10 out of 12, or 9 out of 10, or 10 out of 10, some really good reviews around the world. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Even in the USA, but you know, it's like, it's, it's about time somebody finally listens to the album for what it is. Yeah. You know, it's like I put my heart and soul into every record. It's a crapshoot. And you hope for the best. Oh, well, this time they like it. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, yo. <laughs> fingers yeah, fingers crossed, yo. Yeah, because yeah, the, to me, uh, Master is a kind of a legend in the death metal scene. How, how do you look at that status? Oh, I just, uh, I just look at it like uh, I'm just glad to be part of the beginning of it all, yo. Yeah. There's other guys too, of course. But I'm glad that I was there in the beginning. You know, we, we didn't. It wasn't called death metal. It was just metal. We, you know, we were just making our own sounds and hoping it worked. Yeah, and all of a sudden, it was a new genre, you know. Mm -hmm. Because your career started with Walk, right? Which uh, got more of an old seventh vibe. Yeah, know? sure. And, uh, and then with uh, Death Strike, it went more, more to a Venomish approach. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Some of the bands like GBH, Motorhead, obviously Venom, Black Sabbath. Kind of just put my own spin on it all for me, you know. Yeah. But it's worked out in, uh, in a scene. Yeah. Somehow. I'm still here. <laughs> still here. So, that's always a good thing, right? Yeah, and, yeah, you stuck around the metal scene since the early 80s. Yeah. And uh, which per uh, period stands out for you? Oh, probably the, probably the first European tour, 1990. The Punch and Stench, Abomination, the Master of the Headliner. That uh, was a good period then. But on the other hand, uh, it's coming back around, you know. It's like we're playing over 100 shows a year around the world. And back in 1990, we could maybe play one tour a year in Europe if you were lucky. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to South America, and, you know, sometimes Japan, all different places, you know. And it's every year. I tour in the U.S. every year now, too, as well. So it's like when I was living there, they didn't give a rat's ass about me, and now they come to the shows. So five years of recognition. Yeah, yeah. And it took a long time—30 years. 30 years. Yeah, uh, so that's a long period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, society changed a lot uh, in all these years. Yet you always uh, find a way uh, to fight the system. I'm sure. And uh, you have to fight the system, or at least try. Yeah. You know, it's just like uh, today's world. There's too much governmental control over everybody. Like that song says, Miles, you're told, it. they want to tell you what to do. I hate that. Yeah. Whatever happened to personal freedom? You know, it's like when I mean, you go to Skibble Airport and you're flying to the USA. First, it's a bunch of questions. Then you get in, uh, it's like the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. You put your hands up, they scan your eyes and scan your whole body. And that's not freedom. That's control. Every guy with tattoos, long hair, is not a fucking terrorist. No, exactly. Now they 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 got uh, really the wrong pictures. What uh, if you look at the metal scene? Uh, if you look like here in Holland, there is never trouble no. at a metal show. Well, that's the point. But at the airport, we're all troublemakers because of the way we look. I don't understand that. Yeah, that's not personal freedom. I'm really hoping that the youth of today get organized and and try to fight for changes. Yeah, because if they don't. It's going to be a lost cause, of course. Yeah, and I think to me, uh, that is the punk vibe you put in in your, uh, in your metal, because you are got labeled as dead metal, but if you go look lyrical-wise, it ain't the blood and gore and horror. No, it's real life. It's real life. The real album is, is a particular period in my life, obviously, and a particular period 
like a public record of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it doesn't get any prettier. It's uglier every every time. Right? Every time I'm recording, there's more chaos. I realize that Satan, you know, sells and stuff, but it's not for me. If I want to read fiction, I read a book. <laughs> but, but to each his own, you know. No, exactly. You you uh, you believe in. You want to see what you stand for, and you know, some people would rather hear about Satan or Jesus or whatever. I'm not interested, but to each his own. Like I said, it's just my opinion. Now, it is, it is now uh, nowadays, I think uh, that religion got too much into politics, so it's yeah. kind of yeah. fighting the system if you are against them. But I get you with the Satan stuff, and yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, the new album uh, got still those typical master riffs. How do you keep throwing those riffs out after uh, all these years? Well, it's like when I'm uh, like I pick up the acoustic guitar every one or two months for a few minutes. I write a few riffs if they come. It's like uh, I don't force them; I just let them come to me. And then after maybe a year, we start talking about a new album, and I go back and listen to the little micro cassette recorder and try and pick out riffs, try and put them together. Uh, they come naturally. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Really what's happening? Yeah, come you know. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't go out of my way to write a certain way. I write whatever comes to me. You know, and, then, and then we try it. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. You know. Like for example, right now I've, I've already got uh, seven new originals written for the next album and I just re released this one. And they're really good songs, I'm yeah. sure. They're okay. going to be good. Yeah, I'm sure that we will uh, look out for a new album. Uh, are there, uh, it's a little early, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Are there, uh, besides our touring and uh, getting the album out, are there other plans with Master uh, coming up? What do you mean? Uh, perhaps uh, you put something to DVD or... Oh, you know, that's, that's a good one there. There's a German company, a ripoff company, that uh, I trusted the guy and sent him a DVD. He did a good job. And he gave no credits to anybody on the DVD. The guy that shot the video was upset. I was like, hey, dude, I sent the guy all the information. I just didn't feel like putting it out there. But yeah, it was a small DVD, like maybe, maybe 30 minutes. And uh, you know, it took the guy like, six months to pay me the money for it. It's a tough business, you know. You, you don't know who to trust. You run into snakes sometimes. But I'm hoping someday, as you said, we can do a full, full on DVD. Mm -hmm. It's a dream for me. Yeah. So maybe someday. Yeah. Well, right, looking for also forward to uh, that uh, dream coming true. And I think that's the, this is about it. And if I is, there, is there anything you wish uh, to share with the breeders? Yeah, you know, uh, this, well, this question comes up all the time about legal downloading. I don't mind if you legally download the new album, but if you like it, buy it. That's the difference, you know. And some people do that, they will legally download it and they go buy it. And other people just cheat, you know. If you like the new album, go out and buy it. If you love it, buy it. And, and not only Master, all the good bands that are out there, there's many good bands exactly. out there that are losing money. We're trying to, to make a living like everybody else. Mm -hmm. This is our job. So if you like the music, support the metal, buy the CD. We will. Okay, brother. Thanks Thank for your you time. Man. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for your time. Awesome.